So what's up guys? Miles back in the video, right? I was I got a video idea from watching um Late Night Kick, right? Josh Pate. So if you guys don't know what Josh Pate is, go y'all go subscribe to his channel if you're big into college football and knowing the ins and outs of what's really going on, right? Because he's gonna tell you the truth about stuff, right? And so let me fix this camera right quick because this is just making me mad, right? Okay, there we go. So I was watching this show, right? And I've already had these inclinations, right? But he just confirmed it, right? And it made me think of the bigger picture, right? So he was talking about how the NIL and transfer portal is going crazy, right? It's chaotic. You know what I'm saying? Players are being flaky. Players are leaving one team to go to another team just because this team won and that team that they're on lost or it didn't have a good season or he didn't get a whole bunch of touches and all that stuff and he didn't score a lot of touchdowns and get a whole bunch of stats. All this different bit of stuff, right? And so it made me think about the bigger picture, right? Because we live in an age now where men, we live in the age of flaky men. And if men are the foundation of a society, you can't have a society of flaky men and expect the society to hold up, right? So what we're seeing in the transport portal, what we're seeing with all these players all these teams, all these, this chaotic behavior, this unregulated behavior, non-loyalty behavior, that is just a microcosm or a, or a little part of society, but it's really the whole society, right? That's just one little area it's showing up its its bad head in. It's rearing its bad head in, right? Sports. Now, Miles, what are you talking about? This is just a microcosm of a, of the society, right? Because, guys, look. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to freaking figure this stuff out, right? Killings are going up. Inflation is high. Everything right now in the society is chaotic. Right, you can go to the Walmart store and you don't know if you're gonna get shot or not. Right, everything, anything could happen at any moment. Right, so it's not just happening, chaos isn't just happening in sports, it's happening in relationships. Men and women are op opposing each other. They can't get along. Men are flaky. Women are flaky. Right? Causing both sides to be jaded and not to trust one another. Right? You see, let me go in on this, right? Because this is really the whole crux of what I'm saying. Once the men get flaky, the society is pretty much done. Right? Because if the men set the tone for the society, right, and women follow the men, right? See, you got to realize women are flaky because the men today are flaky and because the men today tolerate it. If we didn't flake, if we weren't flaky and we didn't tolerate it, the women would straighten up. But since we don't, the women are like, well, shit, why do I have to? Shit. This guy still texted me after I done flaked on him twice. Wow, this guy is flaking on me when I really wanted to see him, right? It's creating a whole bunch of jadedness and untrustworthiness relationship in the relationship realm, right? Men, men don't trust the women because they feel like the women are not loyal. The women don't trust the men because they feel like the relationship's on rocky ground. Chaos is what's killing the society. 
It's not just in relationships. It's not just in the sports. It's in business and workers. Nobody wants to work right now. And even if you could work, right now we're in a recession. So there's no job, there's not enough jobs to go around. Workers are cussing out their bosses and the bosses are putting up with it because they know they can't fire that person or replace that person because nobody wants to work anymore. Chaos is the norm. The family structure, like I said, men and women not getting along causes a division within the family. Causes the child to be chaotic and fuck up the whole society, right? Maybe it makes the person want to do right, depending on what pendulum it swings to, right? It's not just in sports. It's not just in family. It's not just in business. It's in the government. You got people in the government. What's that little lady that just got, I think it's a Supreme Court spot. She can't even define what a female is. This is how far we have fallen. Right? And when chaos is the norm, the society is done. There is no society without rules, without structure, right? This is the whole reason why we have the police. To stop the average person from doing bad things, right? Just imagine if the police didn't do their job, which they're not, right? If you look at Chicago, those people get to kill people and get off scot-free, right? There's no structure or consequences, accountability, responsibility anymore, right? And you see it in every facet of the society. And the scary part is, this is the kicker. The scary part is, who's going to fix it? In my video, I just dropped, weak men create hard times, right? See, for a business to last, for you to build something from scratch, right? That means generation after generation after generation, there has been a blueprint that they follow that kept the trajectory of it going up, right? Whether it be a business, a society, you know, a coaching job or a career, whatever it is, right? It's been a blueprint set that you follow and modify to make better, which makes it makes the society progress, makes the the business progress, right? Improves the team, improves the game, improves the sport, right? So we're at the point now where hard times are creating or going to have to create hard men, right? But that's hard work. And who's going to put that hard work in to save the society? These are the questions that we have to answer. The bridge is burning and nobody sees it. This isn't doom and gloom. I've talked to numerous older guys and we've talked about this for many on, on countless times, right? And we keep coming back to the same conclusion. Nobody's fixing it. Nobody even sees the problem. They're too fucking distracted with TikTok, with social activism. that we're not even worried about the basics anymore. Protection, economy, the military. I don't know where we're headed guys, but it's not anywhere good. So, but that's my video. Thought I'd come in and drop the smiles on you guys. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share the video, like the video, and we're out, man. Mm -hmm.